Hey guys, I wanted to do another video on KDE Plasma and just to show everyone that calls and text messages are both working right now. So calls outgoing and incoming both work. Text messages, simple SMS, incoming and outgoing also confirmed to work. So I'm going to demonstrate that real fast in case anybody's interested. This is a test. You should be able to hear the uh, voice. This is coming from the actual phone on KDE Plasma. So as you can tell, there's a phone call. And now I'm going to call the Pine phone from the other phone and just demonstrate once again that calls incoming and outgoing both work. Now, the phone rings, but you have to hit the side button to pick up the call. And it seems to take a minute to wake up. Testing. Testing. Test. Test. Now that we know calls work incoming and outgoing, let's check on text messages. And for that, we're going to be using a program called Spacebar. So as you can see, I have a conversation with Jason here, and we sent a message back and forth real quick just for the demonstration. And I'm also going to show you guys a new test where I'm going to send another message to myself this time. And I'm going to cover the top just to avoid the phone number. As you can see, it went through. And now you can see that phone calls and text messages work. So if you're getting a KDE Plasma, now you know a little more of what to expect. And, of course, this network, as you can see, is an AT&T-based network. And those are shown to be uh, very compatible. Also, I wanted to show you that now the camera is actually working. So let's try that out. And, of course, it takes a moment to load. But as you can see, we have a pretty good picture here. And the rear camera works as well as the front camera. So if I go ahead and hit the other camera, and my camera is an old Android. If you want to update your system, you can run Pac-Man, capital S flag, and then YYU. And if you want to look at new applications, you can go to Discover. And in Discover is where you'll find all different types of applications that you can install. I'm testing out some games now. Here we see featured apps. Of course, we can search for our own. We've got Plasma add-ons. Yeah, as you can see, there's quite a bit of customizing options here. And I just updated Plasma today, and it looks like there's already another two updates. Let's go ahead and take a look at some of the applications. Let's go ahead and take a look at the different internet applications that are here. And for web browsers. Oh, okay, that's how it works. As you can tell, I'm not really familiar with it. And I installed Firefox and Falcon the other day, but there's quite a few other browsers you can play with. And it looks like they're working on, or someone at least, is working on a Tor browser. Of course, it's not available yet. As you can see, it's grayed out. But there's quite a few browsers here. And we can take a look at a couple more things before I close this video out. Let's see. That's how it works. So you got Thunderbird, Claws Mail, Tutanota, 
And there's a lot of really cool stuff. Let's take a look at the games now that I know how to actually work the gestures. So it's not exactly, you know, perfect yet, but I'm sure it will continue to improve. And then I, I just wanted to report, I was pretty excited to find out that calls and text messages were both working. And to me, that's huge. And given the earliness of KDE Plasma Mobile, it's pretty exciting. So I hope to continue to monitor some of the progress, and from time to time, I'll do a video when I think it's made enough improvements to be worth taping a video and doing all the editing. So that's what I got today, guys. I hope you found this video helpful. If you're getting a KDE Plasma or you're thinking about Manjaro KDE Plasma or post-market operating system KDE Plasma, which I've used as well, you know, all great options. And... I just want to close this video out and tell you guys to like, share, and subscribe. And I will be back later with more on the Pine Phone.